Mr. and Mrs. Clooney. Hello. My goodness, you brought out the sparkles. Thank you. There's so there's so much to be celebrating tonight. Yeah. You brought out the sparkles. Congratulations on your Kennedy Center honor. Thanks. We've got two Oscars, five Golden Globes, four SAG Awards, and now a Kennedy Center honor. Where does this honor rank amongst the rest? Well, I kind of hate to rank them. It's like you know picking your favorite kid, but I have to say. Uh, uh, it's a really beautiful honor. It's such a fun thing. I've never, I've never been to the honors before, yeah. and what a fun weekend it's been. We had a great time. We were yeah. at the White House, and we had a really wonderful time at the State Department last night. So it's a, it was actually very emotional. It's fun to be around people who are also friends of yours who are receiving it. So it was fun. I like that you say emotional, Amal. I know you are one to give an unbelievable speech. Are you speaking tonight? Um, I'm not speaking. Okay. Um, I've been listening to amazing speeches all weekend and I've been in tears for much of it, um, but it's been really lovely. Yeah. The White House was Christmassy and, you know, when I go to the State Department, I'm usually working, so it was nice to be in a lovely ballroom yeah. and, and celebrating George and all the other amazing honorees. Amazing. So. You know, watching the two of you, not only your contributions to the world of entertainment, but what you do with the Clooney Foundation, how you lead by example with parenting, even though there are a few pranks in there. <laughs> you know, when you when your kids see that you're winning a Kennedy Center tonight, when your kids see all the incredible work that you do, what is it that you hope they remember most and take away from the example the two of you lead? Well, we just hope we raise nice kids who care <laughs> about people and and put other people uh, ahead of themselves, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the same thing, We've, we were both raised at, which is if to whom a lot is given, a lot is expected, and so we're going to expect a lot from our children. So. I know there are a lot of pranks in the Clooney household, mm -hmm. and with the holidays right around the corner, with the holidays right around the corner, uh, what do the holidays in the Clooney household look like? Well, there's a lot Actually, of... Actually, usually we're in England around yeah. the Christmas tree there. This year we're going away on holiday yeah. somewhere warm. So, so but there'll be... be th right now there's a tree in the house and there's a lot yeah. of like... There's a train set coming, so that'll be fun. Yeah, if I ever get it put together, because that's the hard part. <laughs> Is that the things that you task him with, putting together the kids' toys? We both I'm try and life. often fail, yeah. but we're there's trying to teach them perseverance, so we can't give up too quickly. <laughs> really My final question, the last time we spoke with you, George, you said that the kids are actually smarter than you. Yeah. I'm dying to know Amal's response to that. Do you agree? I think they're both smarter than both of us. Yes, so they, they've yeah. certainly outsmarted us. So. And they have a language that they speak that we don't speak, so yeah. we're at a distinct yeah. disadvantage. Yeah. And French. She speaks French. So they've got me, they've got me coming and going. I don't know what to do. What is the best prank they've pulled on you lately? Mm, they have some jokes they've been playing, which they're so filthy I'm not even allowed to tell you. Five years old and telling filthy jokes, Amal. Right. What do you make of this? Whose contribution do you think this is? My wife parents? is filthy, <laughs> filthy. <laughs>